now our new subject is comparators so we are still seeing different combinational circuits and this time we will be looking at the comparator let's say i have a signal a a two-bit signal a1 and a0 another variable b it's also two-bit signal b1 and b0 so if i would like to compare them so let's say i have a comparator f0 and i am comparing a and b so this could be telling me if a is equal to b right so this is one comparator another comparator can tell me if a is bigger than b and another function can tell me if b is bigger than a or a is less than b so these are the three functions that we need to implement in comparators so if i ask you how do you implement these functions the first thing you will do you will write the truth table for this comparators right here is our table let's look at f0 so if a1 a0 and b1 b0 all of them are zero they are equal to each other so i will be saying one here a zero here they are not equal here they are not equal here and they are not equal here so they are equal here so it will be zero one zero zero and they are also equal here so this will be zero zero one zero and they are equal in the last line so they will be one here and it will be zero 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 here so let's look at the case for a is bigger than b so it is zero here zero here zero here and zero here it is only in this case i have a is bigger than b a is one b is zero so my output is one it is zero here zero here and zero here and let's look at the third part where a is one zero if a is one zero i have one one here but i have zero and zero here so let's look at the last part where is a is one one so i have one here one here one here and zero here so now let's look at the case for a is less than b so a is less than b we can say this is the not of a is equal to b or a is bigger than b so this is the not of it so i will be having a zero here one 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 here and zero here zero here one one here i will be having zero 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 and one here and i will be having zero 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 and zero here so these are the three functions for my comparator now in order to find out my boolean function what i need to do i need to have a, a four variable carnot map for my f0 similarly i need to do another carnot map for f1 and another one for f2 right and we need to minimize these carnot maps and then we can find out our functions for these comparators so i will not be doing it this way but instead i will be directly writing my boolean functions okay so i will not be go through this carnot map method but you can try it yourself and then you can verify the results that we have found out later is the same as what you got from these carnot maps so let's see very simple example and i ask you to design a one bit comparator so let's say i have a variable a which is one bit and i have a variable b and if i am trying to find out if a is equal to b this is simple right so i need to use an xnor gate right so this xnor gate will tell me if a is equal to b right so if i ask you for the case if a is not equal to b then this is the case with the xor gate if i ask you for the case of if a is bigger than b so then what we can write this is a is one and b is zero right so this is the case where a is bigger than b so then what i need to do this is a and b not so this is my a is bigger than b if i ask you a is less than b so this is the case a is zero so i will write a not and b right so so this will be a not and b so these are the functions for the one bit comparator so let's look at the two bit comparator let's design a two bit comparator for f a is equal to b and f 
A is bigger than B. Let's say this is F0, this is F1. And let's do F2. A is less than B. So instead of going through the truth table and the Carnot map, so I will be directly writing this F0, A is equal to B Boolean function. So in this case, A is again A1, A0, B is B1, B0. So this is true if A0 is equal to B0 and A1 is equal to B1. So what is the case? For a0 is equal to b0. a0 is equal to b0 if a0 is 0 and b0 is 0 or a0 is 1 and b0 is 1, right? So then I can write a0 not b0 not or a0 is 1 and b0 is 1. So this is the case of a0 is equal to b0 and let's write the other case a1 is 1 and b1 is 1 so a1 is 1 and b1 is 1 or a1 is 0 and b1 is 0 so this is the case for the a1 is equal to b1 so i can write here a1 and b1 or a1 is 0 and b1 is so this is the boolean function for f0 right basically what is this i have an xnor operation here this is a0 xnor b0 and and a1 xnor b1 right so a1 xnor b1 so basically this is the comparator for f0 so what do we have here we have two xnor gates and i combine them with an and gate so a1, b1, a0, b0, and this is my f0 where a is equal to b. So this is our 2-bit comparator for a is equal to b. Now let's design f1 where a is bigger than b. So this is f1, a is bigger than b. So how can I write this? So this is the case where a1 is bigger than b1. So let's say a1 bigger than b1. If this is the case, my a is bigger than b or a1 is equal to b1 right and a0 is bigger than b0 if this is true then my a is bigger than b right so this is the two cases either i need to have this condition or i need to have the second condition so for the first condition i can write a1 is bigger than b1 if a1 is 1 and b1 is 0 or a1 equal to b1 it is the case for the xnor operation a1 xnor b1 and a0 is bigger than b0 a0 and b0 not so this is my boolean function so i can draw this so this is a1 b1 not and or a1 b1 xnor operation and a0 b0 not so this is an ant operator here another ant here and then i combine them using an or gate so this is my f1 where a is bigger than b okay so how can i find f2 let's write the boolean function first f2 where a is less than b so this is the case now b is bigger than a so you can write b1 a1 not or b1 x nor a1 and b0 and a0 not right so this is the function for f2 and then you can also draw this but i will not be drawing it here it is also possible to write f2 in terms of f1 and f0 right so it should be f1 not and f0 not so if this is the case then f2 will be true so this was a is bigger than b and this was a is equal to b but this means if a is not equal to b or a is not bigger than b then f2 will be true right so both of them will tell us the same thing but implementing f2 directly with this equation might be simpler